The regulatory submission process for medical devices in Japan involves several detailed steps. Let's take a closer look at each of these steps. The first step is to determine the classification of the medical device according to the Japanese medical device nomenclature system. If the device is not listed in the JMDN, the PMDA will determine the classification referencing the Yakusyoku Hatsu, number 0720022. Devices are classified into four classes based on their risk level. Our journey through the regulatory submission process in Japan brings us to an important player in this procedure, the Marketing Authorization Holder, or MAH. For foreign manufacturers seeking to submit regulatory applications for medical devices in Japan, having a local representative or an MAH is mandatory. The MAH acts on behalf of the foreign manufacturer and takes up the responsibility for the product in the Japanese market, ensuring compliance with the pharmaceutical affairs law. It's important to note that the MAH must be a business entity established in Japan. The key responsibilities of the MAH include submitting applications for marketing approval, certification, and notifications to the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency and the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare. They also ensure that the medical device complies with Japanese regulations and standards and manage post-marketing surveillance while reporting any adverse events or malfunctions associated with the medical device. Furthermore, the MAH maintains records and documentation related to the device's safety, efficacy, and quality. In summary, the MAH plays a crucial role in managing the regulatory affairs of foreign manufacturers in the Japanese market, acting as a bridge between the manufacturer and the regulatory bodies. Depending on the classification of the device, manufacturers need to prepare the necessary documentation. This may include a summary technical documentation that concisely summarizes the data to be submitted. Manufacturers must ensure that their quality management system complies with the Japanese quality management system requirements. For Class 2, 3, and 4 devices, a pre-market submission to the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency is required. This includes the application form, summary technical documentation, and evidence of quality management system compliance. If the device requires clinical data for approval, the manufacturer must provide clinical study data. This can include data from studies conducted outside Japan, provided they meet certain criteria and are relevant to the Japanese population. It is often advisable to have a pre-submission consultation with the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency to understand the specific requirements and expectations. For Class II devices, manufacturers can choose to submit their application to a registered certification body instead of the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency. The Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency or Registered Certification Body will review the submission. This process includes an assessment of the device's safety, efficacy, and quality. If the review is successful, the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency or Registered Certification Body will issue a marketing approval or certification for the device. After the device is on the market, manufacturers are required to conduct post-market surveillance to monitor the safety and performance of the device. For certain high-risk devices, a re-examination process is required after a set period to ensure ongoing safety and efficacy. Manufacturers must renew their marketing approval every five years by submitting updated safety and efficacy data to the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency. And that's the regulatory submission process for medical devices in Japan. Got specific questions? Comment them below. Stay tuned for more country-specific regulatory step-by-step -step process.